creative friends. My name is Laura Beth Love. I'm an author and artist, and I am the owner of the blog Dish Functional Designs. And I want to share with you a really useful tip. It's a little crafty kind of technique that I use to hang plates on my wall. And all you're going to use is a paper clip. Now, here are some that I had hanging in my old art studio in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And this is just a thrift store plate. And on the back, you can see that I attached a paper clip to it. Years ago, to hang a plate on a wall, you'd have to buy, um, it was like a little contraption of um, like a spring wire and it would hook on on the top and also on the bottom. And you would see that uh, on the plate. So this is a way that you can hang the plate on your wall and it just kind of looks like it's floating there and it's pretty cool. Now, first of all, you're not gonna wanna use any really good plates for this because once you glue these paper clips on here, they're pretty much on there forever. Um, you wanna use a lot of adhesive because you want it to stay on the wall. You don't want it to fall down. Here's another one that I had hanging on my wall. Get a close up for you. So it's really easy to do and you only need a couple of materials. First of all, you're gonna need a plate. I'm going to demonstrate using this small transferware plate. You're going to need adhesive. I love E6000 clear transparent adhesive. I am not getting paid by E6000 to tell you I love them. I just love them. So I'm gonna use this adhesive and this is a two inch paper clip. So you wanna use the larger sized paper clip. So two inch works great. Now there's the plastic coated ones or the metal. I don't know if it matters. I just, I use whatever. What you're going to do is you're going to determine how you want the plate hung on your wall. So you wanna make sure that you have it where you're going to, when you glue this on, that it's going to be exactly in the center. So what I like to do is I like to, you know, this one has a seam on it. And of course, when I have it hanging on my wall, I don't want it to land up like this or like this. You want it to be straight. So one trick that I use is I take um, a marker. You can use, you know, whatever can mark your plate. Um, you can use like a silver or something real light that won't, you know, you won't see it. I'm going to use the black because I'm demonstrating for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball this and you can also use a ruler and you can make, you know, you can, you know, make a mark, but I really just eyeball it and I find where my center is and I put like a little mark there. And I'm also gonna put one at the bottom. And like I said, you can use a ruler and you can check that. And then you're gonna flip it over. And I, you see where I can see right there is where I put that mark. So you're gonna just, you don't even really need to use a ruler for this part if you have a pretty steady hand. I'm just gonna make like a, like a line or a dotted line. And that spot on the rim right there is where I'm going to glue my paper clip. So, Here's the clip, and you can see there's kind of a larger end and a smaller end. So you can set that on there to see what position it's going to be in, and then you'll know where to put your adhesive. Now, you don't put the adhesive on the clip, you put the adhesive on the plate. On this one, I opened up the clip, and I opened up the paper clip on this one because this has a, I don't know if it's kind of hard to see on video, but this has a really thick foot, this ridge on the back. So instead of just doing it like that and having it at like a really hard angle, what I did was I opened the paper clip. But for this one, we don't need to because this is a small plate and it doesn't have much of a, a bump on it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up our adhesive and put a generous amount right on that spot. And now I'm gonna just hold this against it, like not on it, but above it, and I'm just gonna eyeball it. So I see it comes to about there, so I'm gonna put just a big gob of glue and kind of work it up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my paper clip and I'm going to submerge it in that glue, and I'm moving it around let me zoom in for you a little bit. I'm moving this around and I'm making sure that this is really in there. Now, if it doesn't really submerge under the glue, you can take your adhesive 
and you can you know put some more on there and then don't worry about the glue strings they can just pull those off once it dries so make sure you have it lined up with where it should be you can kind of look at it and all right so that one's looking pretty good so now you're going to set this somewhere and let it dry for at least 24 hours two days to be safe with is perfect and that's pretty much all there is to it now let me show you this here's this one that i did i showed you earlier where i opened up the paper clip and that is a vinyl letter you can buy them at hobby stores craft stores even office supply so what you want to do is you know center it peel it off you can spell out all different kinds of really cool words and put them across plates and hang them on your wall this one has said my name it said laura beth love and it was way up high on the ceiling of this really big art studio I had and it was pretty cool if i can find a picture of it i'll put it up on my blog that's all there is to it and i just wanted to share that with you all you need like i said get some paper clips some good adhesive a marker helps out and if you want you can use a ruler you can do all kinds of really cool things with these plates they look great hanging on your wall in just about any room you can imagine i love them in the kitchen as a matter of fact i think i might make another set like these that say yum or something kind of cool to hang in my kitchen and i like the combination of the really old the antique and vintage plate and then you know more of a modern word and i think it it's a really cool effect so I hope you like this little quick tutorial and try it out yourself. Let me know how it goes. One last word. All you need to hang these is, you know, you can use any kind of like a small nail. I like these little tacks. They work well. Um, little half inch ones or, you know, if you need, they have the sturdier ones. Now, if you're going to be hanging anything larger than a dinner plate. Now, this is... Oh, let's see. This is a nine inch dinner plate. So if you're going to be hanging anything larger or heavier, let's say you have a big heavy platter, you want to make sure that you use stronger hardware. You may need to use a molly and to actually drill a hole, hammer a molly into your wall and then, um, you know, use a screw on top of that just so it's it stays on your wall. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check back soon. I have another video in the works. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.